everyone uh, I have not made a video in a while so I wanted to come back and do something short and sweet and hopefully start these back up a little and today what we're gonna do is look at radio buttons that should be nice and straightforward so let's jump right into it the first thing you'll need to do is go to your toolbox I already have three on file snatch as you can see right here um, but I got them by dragging one of these guys here um, and it should just show up in your GUI somewhere so if I click on it it will go down there now in this case I don't want to do it but I just wanted to demonstrate it so let me just remove that and go to the ones I've already got and as you'll see I have three and they're not in particular order um, you can put these anywhere in the XAML page but you will need to program them accordingly so it gives you that flexibility but you kind of lose that kind of group behavior all right so now I have a make copies and overwrite copies and a skip uh, I'm gonna click on the overwrite copies because that's the first one I made um, as you can see you'll see the name is overwrite files that's gonna associate it with a variable named all right files um, then the tab index which just means as you tab through your GUI you'll have to hit the tab 10 times to get to it and then there's the override files which is essentially it says content which is essentially what you see here on the GUI I'll try to make that just a hair larger for you there that's better so now we see that that all right files um, when I'm going to click on this, oops, going to click on that one again. You'll notice also in the right, you can put these accordingly, uh, so the content is right here. There's something else called is checked, um, which we will go down to skip or make copies. And as you can see here, I just typed is checked true so it's going to turn it on now you'll also see that I put true here for is checked for skip files now if you know anything about radio buttons only one of them can be on at a time so what um, the XAML will do is they'll read through this line by line by line and the last one to say is checked true is going to be the one that's checked uh, and that's why make copies is down here even though it's on top there so when I run it there you go make copies is is that is done but if i were to change this to f false and run it again you'll see that the, now the skip takes the the true one is checked for the, the skip is now taking precedence but let's set that back so that's as simple as it gets on the GUI side of it. Let's take a brief example look inside FileSnatch to maybe how you would use it. Now remember, you're taking it in as the name here, M copies or Owrite files. So if I looked on my main page and typed in Owrite for Owrite files, then you're going to see that I use it in a is checked fashion <laughs> so it checks whether or not it's true or false uh, you'll notice here that I have all these box checks really what I did was I grouped up a bunch of boxes put them into an array to handle everything but in this case my box checks three not exactly a great way to explain it in terms of variable name but you know it gets the job done so um, box check three is just the radio buttons, which will essentially turn on or off overwriting files, skipping over files, or um, making copies of the file. It, it can only do one of these because this if statement forces it only to do one, and technically so does the radio buttons themselves. And it also is nice because you can end up storing these in, a, in the local files as well and then pulling them back up and, and turning them on so when I do a save or a load you know I can check off these boxes and then it um, 
it brings back the correct radio button or check box checked or not so just remember that these guys are all really just tied to boolean in this case i know i'm cheating a little bit by not doing booleans um and i just did ones and zeros uh and then what's worse is what's worse yet is i uh because i made these uh these integers i had to go back and change these all to <laughs> integers as well but uh if you use other check boxes you can just do you just keep them in the boolean form and that's pretty much as simple uh as it gets which probably means i need to work start working on my next video okay we'll see you next time hey if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button to our channel this would help us out greatly if you'd like to support us in other ways our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the microsoft store see the links below we appreciate your support thanks